It's a daily fact of life. Everyone poops, but sometimes children ignore the signals from their body. Ryan's been having a little bit of stomach pain off and on for the last few weeks. Um, I'm not sure she's able to use the restroom consistently. Pediatrician Dory Mortimer of Children's Physicians Medical Group says constipation is a common complaint among her young patients. Are you using, going every day? Are you having stomach aches all the time? Stomach aches are off and on. If you don't have enough water intake on a daily basis, your body will take everything it can from the food coming out and that'll bulk it up and make it more painful to pass. Are you able to poop every day? I don't really keep track. Constipation signs and symptoms may not always be as obvious as people would think and that it can fairly easily be improved or remedied with some close attention to water intake, fruits and vegetables and natural foods, and exercise and paying good attention that the children are getting those things on a daily basis. Sometimes good bathroom habits change when young children start school. They don't want to use the bathrooms at school, the bathrooms are noisy, the bathrooms are smelly, they want privacy. If your child holds it during the school day, it could lead to more bathroom difficulties later. I've seen teenagers who have enough pain that they end up in the emergency room thinking it's their appendix and it turns out it's just constipation. Dr. Mortimer says increasing water and fiber intake and following these steps can help your child get their plumbing moving again. Urinate every two hours when you first feel the need. While urinating, breathe in and out slowly 10 times with feet flat on the floor. Drink at least three bottles of water a day. Do poop yoga. Sit on the toilet 10 minutes after breakfast and dinner to take out the trash. Read, draw, or listen to music. Making sure that you at least sit on the toilet every day, don't rush off it, take your time, um, and of course stay active like you are. It can be improved greatly or remedied in the pediatrician's office, but in those cases that they're not responding to stool softeners or laxatives or certain therapies and behavioral modification, we do refer on to the GI specialist. For more information about constipation or other children's health topics, visit cpmgsandiego.com or call 877-276-4543.